Hello, today I'm taking apart a uh, Farmall 450 brake. I am working on the left hand side. This is the right hand side that we're looking at. Um, basically you have two pedals, a, a right one and a left one that you can do individually, or you can uh, flip this little lever up top on top of these brakes and you press them and they both come at the same time. I noticed that when I pressed the, the left brake while I was on the road, wasn't even trying to stop me so i figured eh, that probably needs to be fixed so we'll uh start taking it apart and uh go from there see you on the other side okay now we're on the left side of the tractor and we'll start taking it apart so the first uh, few things that we got to do um take off this these two springs because they're connected to this casing right here and we're taking this whole casing off so the springs have to be removed here and then we will have to remove uh, this part for the actual um, brake pulling so the lever on the uh, right hand side pushes this down and it pulls this out which actuates the inside of this and, and basically engages the brakes so let's take off the springs first let's see Hopefully that'll be easy. Okay. That one easier than I thought. And so next, we're going to uh, basically uh, remove, uh, loosen this nut right here. It's basically a, a lock nut. Um, so do that first. isn't on too tight and then basically this whole piece right here screws into the part that actually actuates so let's remove that next and it just unscrews out of this you can see this my uh dust boot is cracked here so eh, i'll replace it eventually i might yeah well, i might replace it sooner than later so Okay, so let's just keep unscrewing this. Let's actually use a socket. You can see that there's a long, it's, it screws in there pretty pretty far. And that's actually to uh, adjust how how engaged it is when, it, when you're not actually pressing on it. So if you screw it in more, it's gonna pull this whole thing down and engage it a little bit sooner than, sooner than later. So got some play there. Okay, and that all comes out. So we're not going to uh, play around with this. Hopefully we'll, we'll take a measurement and make sure it's the, the right distance between washer and washer. And we'll go from there. Okay, so now, so basically you can kind of see it pulls on this, which engages, engages the insides. We'll, we'll take a look at that once we get it all off. Come on. And some of them are really tight, some of them aren't. I don't know who put these on last time. Oh, I guess that was me. But, no, oh, that one was really loose. Okay. Last one. And these are some long bolts, so. One. Two. 
to So yeah, it'll be nice to have a tractor that actually, I don't know, stops with both, both sides. I did, I redid the, uh, the right one because every time I hit the brake, it locked up. And the only way to get it unlocked is to actually put the tractor in reverse. And usually when I had to do that, my tractor was in a not so good position to go in reverse and it just took a lot of frustration and words to keep working out on the field. And last but not least, okay, here we go. So that was five bolts taken off and the funny thing is as four are the same height let me get them closer and then you have one short one so when I was putting the right one on I put the short one in here and it it'll go in but over here I had about this much space between this and the case, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? And I had to take them all apart and found out that they had one short bolt. So I got no reason why they would do that. So, okay, so now it's kind of heavy. So just be careful. Ugh. That looks lovely. And by lovely, I mean not good. Eh, we'll freshen it up. Okay. And then we'll take, here's another, it's got two of these disc, disc brakes. The other one's on the other side of this that we took off. And you can see there's lots of just rust and dust and bugs. So... We'll take a nice wire brush, clean that all up. This is not very smooth at all. Yuck. Okay. So you can kind of see there's grooves here on it. This one's a little bit shinier. So yeah, this is going to be a fun, fun little project. Okay, we'll take it to the uh, table and go from there. Okay, now we're at the table. And hopefully you can kind of see what it looks like. A bunch of junk. So, first and foremost, basically, this is what we, we unscrewed that uh, the bolt from. So this pulls this out, and then this rotates just a little bit from here to there, like that. And the other side rotates the other way. And there's uh, five balls in here that they rotate on, and it pushes this one out, and the uh, the bottom one down so and that's and then this gets pressed against the one on the tractor and then there's another one on the other side of this and basically that's your brakes so let's take this out it should just wiggle out and since it's all nice and rusty and yucky it might take a little finagling but there you go and you can see a lot of stuff is limiting in it so here's that other disc brake so it basically does that so so like I said when this gets pulled this thing expands and this is on this side and it pushes it against it pushes it against uh, the metal on this side and the metal on that side so so yeah this looks really 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 bad so Let's take this out of the way. And so first of all, springs. Springs are basically what keep those two things together. So we'll just pry those out. We'll see how bad it is on the inside. 
Okay, so three springs. <gasps> Look at that, I happen to have three new springs. Yay! We're happy. Okay. So now you can see this. You can see how they how they move. And if I hold it together, you'll you'll see it. It goes up onto those rolls up on those balls like that. Pretty ingenious little way to do that. So now we just lift this up, move it out of the way. And you can see that the balls, you know, when does it, they, they all roll up and cause the pressure. And you can see there's these are not the cleanest of balls. So you can order brand new ones, nice shiny stainless steel ones. I didn't do that for this side. I probably should have. So I am going to shine these up as best as I can and clean all this up and basically wire brush all of these on on both sides. Here, 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 here. It looks like there's, I don't know, water or something. It got rusty. And wire brush everything and make it look brand new. So, at least that's what I'm telling myself. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty ingenious. So, I'm gonna start wire brushing away and we'll see what happens. And I will get back with you. Hopefully with a lot cleaner brakes. And especially this. This, this is pretty nasty. So that's probably why I wasn't having any brakes on this side. I don't know. At all. So. Okay. Yeah. I can see where the bugs were getting in. There's a hole right here. And there was bugs on the old, old other one. So I'm just going to put a bolt right there and keep that from hopefully ever becoming like that ever again so okay so i'm gonna go wire brush and i will get back with you in a day or so i have no idea how long it's gonna take me to wire brush probably a day or so so i will uh talk to you soon okay we are back after many hours of wire brushing so i am basically showing you what i've done you can see I wire brushed those five bolts decent. And again, you can see that one that's shorter here than all the rest. So, so those are all done, ready to put back in. Uh, new uh, spring that I'm gonna put on the uh, right-hand side. And this was the uh, bolt that I took off that actually pulls this uh, contraption to make the brakes. Basically, what you got to do is I, I, I clean it all up. Um, the biggest thing here is you have to measure in between these two washers, basically the inside of this one to the inside of that one. And it needs to be one and three sixteenths. So just take a, a measurement and we are pretty darn close, so I'm good with that. So that's all ready to go. And there's one last nut here that basically we're going to uh, be screwing in here, and then this will just be the lock nut once we figure out the right the right size of this. So we'll get all that going. You can see this looks a little bit better than what it was. Um, took a, a wire brush and you can see it's pretty pitted it'd probably be good to actually just get a new one of these or get it uh, milled down to a nice nice uh, shiny smooth place but I need my tractor to work pretty soon so I am not going to take the time so I did that to, to both of them and we'll put all this back together and I'll show you how it works so I 
redid the, uh, I, I wire brushed each of these. They're a little bit pitted and probably be smart to get some new ones. So I'm gonna probably place an order and then redo this whole thing again, just to get these uh, new balls in here. So basically it goes like this. I, I've read online on some of the older tractor forums that, hey, put a little anti-seize on here and they won't lock up. So basically they were coming up and then they weren't coming back down is what my issue was on the other other one. So I think, I mean, they, they seem pretty smooth, but you know, you're putting a lot of pressure on these. So I think what I was going to do was use a little anti-seize because someone said, Hey, one of the old timers said, why don't you use some anti-seize and see what happens. And so basically I'm going to get a little bit on there. Not a lot, just so there's like a film and maybe that'll just uh, help with it not locking up or rusting or any of that stuff so we'll see how that goes like i said just a little thin film so i didn't want to put too much on it because just dust and grime and would probably just totally coat these so okay so now we got that and then we'll put this all back together okay so basically the plates go on. Ta-da. So, and then this locks in and you pull it and it does that. Now you can accidentally put them on like this and you go, well, that just does not look right because of this. So, here we go. And I took this uh, pin out and basically it was rusted shut onto one of these. So it wasn't even moving. So lots of bad things that were going on in this. So we will put that through. So now hopefully you can see it. It gets wide here can't put my finger here now it's up so yay and it's all moving nice and neat so we'll put this little pin in Okay, now that's ready to go. Now we gotta put the, the springs in. I got new springs. So the easiest way I found to put them on, I, I did try to put it from the bottom and then try to pry it up and that just wasn't working. So the easiest way is just put them like that and get a handy dandy screwdriver or pair of pliers. And basically what you're doing is you're gonna just push on this bottom one to get it to get it to go we'll see how easy this is Push it down and sometimes it's try 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 or not and then Oh, that's what it was. I needed to have a little bit of room here to press down because I wasn't able to, on this side it's pretty flat so I couldn't get underneath it. That's what it was. There, ta-da! Gotta be smarter than springs. 
See how easy those are now? <laughs> Ta-da! Okay. Now, it moves a little bit, but I, it's just hard to pull against these springs, so that's what the lever is with your foot. Your leg's got a lot more power to push these together. So, let's get this out of the way. Put this in. Not sure if you remembered what this looked like. had some bugs nests in it and this was not even shiny again a little pitted but it's best I can do here are my old discs I I scuffed them up a little bit try to get a little of the ridges out so we'll put that one back in Ta -da. put this in Oh, the biggest thing is so these were really all rusted and basically it, it pushes on these right here so I wanted to be really nice and smooth on all of the all of the edges so make sure you do that okay this just fits in so nothing seems to be binding but yeah see how it will rub against those so you don't want any rust or corrosion so okay and there we go that's how that all gets put back together so we will now go to the tractor and we will start putting it all back together okay now we're back at the tractor so let's start putting everything back together first um uh, I wire brushed all of this, so it was just as nasty as the uh, parts I brought to the table. So I put a little uh, rubber hose right in here to keep some of the dust out, and then I took a vacuum and tried to get it all clean. Okay, so let's put this in. These only go in one way, so doesn't matter flipped around, but okay. Now, next. Put this big heavy one on again this is pretty heavy and you wiggle it until it goes to where it needs to okay that's roughly it. So now we start uh, bolting it on. Yeehaw. Okay. I put uh, NICs on all of the, the bolts to make this a little easier the next time I, I have to do this. Okay. Got the first bolt in, yay. started and remember that little short bulb that'll always get you this one goes right here near the back because that totally makes sense okay Now, now we start tightening up. I'll just get them a, a little snug until I get all of them in. Kind of like tightening the tire and last but not least oh. 
Okay, now we tighten them. Okay. Yay. Okay, now we put this on. Do not forget to put your new one that you've purchased on. So I'll just say that. Then you basically just screw it on to that little tiny nut and Yay, okay. You got it going. Nice, almost new boot back on. And like I said, this is our, our lock nut. So we'll, we'll pull it out because we might have to adjust it in or out from the other side. So basically you gotta take some, some measurements, but when you push on the brake, it pulls out like that. And then that makes us expand. So this will come down. Okay, now we put springs back on that were there. And hopefully, uh, let's see if we can get the spring on easily. Ta-da! Okay, so that's pretty much how you do that. Um, I will go to the other side and we can start uh, playing around with uh, the play on this. And hopefully this just stops the tire now. Because like I said, it was not doing a darn thing this last time. So hopefully I'll get some stopping power. Okay, let's go to the other side of the tractor and play around with uh, how far this moves before it engages and we'll be moving this inside, you know, move, turning it in and out to get that uh, dimension correct. And then we'll just tighten this lock nut up once we uh, figured that out. Okay, see you on the other side. Okay, we're back on the other side now. And we're going to be adjusting the left brake still. I've already adjusted the right brake here. And basically what they want you to do is measure from this surface to right here. And you have some free play until it starts to engage. And they want one and one eighth to one and three eighths. So taking a simple handy dandy ruler We look at this one and I'm coming in at one in and one eighth. So basically I want to keep one this one to be have the same place so when I push them both at the same time they uh, they engage at the same time and currently this one's actually having more play it's closer to one and three eighths so it's not quite the same so basically what I have to do is go tighten tighten this on the other side a little bit more to basically have this a little bit more engaged so when I have the free play it'll be a little bit tighter so let me go do that really quick I'll just come underneath it and turn Okay, so we'll see how it goes. I think I turned it too much. Yep. Okay, so it's, it's about one inch now, unfortunately. So, okay, let me loosen that. And then we should be on our way.
Let's see how this goes. That's looking pretty, pretty good, so. Okay. Yeehaw. Okay, last we do is uh, put on this spring. And it's the easy one. Ha ha ha. Not really. So, I've always had some issues putting on these newer springs. Huh, complain. Good things happen. Let's see. first. Okay. Now it's just gonna go on again. Easy, easy, easy. actually easy. Okay, now we have something that pulls it right back. And now we take it for a test drive and go yay. We have brakes. So, okay, there you go. Uh, the last thing I gotta do is basically uh, tighten. You can see I didn't tighten this lock nut. I'll go tighten this one and tighten the other one on the other side and that is all that's needed. Thanks for watching.